My home was a one-bedroom flat on the ground floor of a tenement at 24 Park Street, Canvas Line. You've got to do what you think is right. Follow your heart. Scotland was where I cut my teeth, where I learned how to play guitar, and where I became a human jukebox. At home there were big fish in a small pond, but down in London there were a million great bands, all striving to find a record contract. His name was Malcolm McLaren. I'd never heard of him, or Vivian Westwood, or Seditionaries, or Sex, or whatever the shop they ran was called. It meant nothing to me. However, on New Year's Eve 1975, that song changed my life overnight. Forever. Girls thought I was fantastic, that I was wonderful and wanted to get to know me better. Guys started to get jealous. So there I was, at 23, all washed up. I should have disappeared. Everyone in the business thought the Boomtown Rats and the rich kids were going to be huge in America. We recorded at John Congress's studio on First Avenue Barnes with Mick Ronson producing. I was a huge Mick Ronson fan from his boy days. It was the most exciting music I'd heard for years. This electronic thing was screaming at me, just like guitars had when I was 10. I came up with the name. It sounded very romantic, very European, and the logo. That became the template for Visage. It was Tuesday. We had four weeks left before Christmas, but just one week to get this song written, recorded, mixed, pressed, and into the shops. The studio was just off Portobello Road. At eight o'clock in the morning, the whole area is usually empty, filthy, and damp, suffering from a Saturday night hangover. On this Sunday, the world's media were standing outside. Of course they came, in ones and twos and gaggles. No limos, no entourage, no huge security blocks. He sang, thank God, and just leaped an octave, and this huge voice erupted out of this little guy. I was standing next to Bono when I jumped. I felt as if I was standing next to an opera singer. He had the same massive power. That was it. One take, he just ripped it. This record was recorded on the 25th of November, 1984. It's now 8am on the 26th. We've been here 24 hours, and I think it's time we went home. I might have finished the record, but the Band-Aid story had only just begun. For years I've been getting calls asking me, what are the chances of Ultravox getting back together? I always said, never, absolutely never, it's not going to happen, not for a million times. What we have learned is how to be creative and how to fall back on our skills as musicians, as opposed to trying to depend on machines to do it for us. So far, a machine has never written a good song. It's about life. It's about achievement, still being here, still eating and waking and breathing. And that's what people want to hear. I don't have to make it up. I'm telling my story. This story.